Deborah Broadbent here, violinist and instructor at Online Violin Education, where I train violinists all over the world how to improve their technical skill sets for more melodic playing. Today we're going to be talking about mastering third position. I'm going to give you some tips to actually help you with learning and playing in third position. So first off, what is third position? Third position is when you replace your third finger in first position with your one. So to find a third position, if you're playing in first, you have your third finger as D, and third position is when you replace that third finger with your one. And you have uh, your first finger on the where your third finger was. So you have D, E, F sharp, G. Okay, now you may ask, well, why do I need to learn third position? Many violins can go really a long time without ever playing in third. However, when you play in third, you get a real lush sound. You play those same notes in first. Kind of boring, right? We don't have as lush of a sound as we can get in third position. Plus, it's really good to move up into third position to avoid some string crossings and to be able to stay on the same string for melodic playing and that sort of thing. Third position is the first position you learn after first position. So the position learning order would be first position and then third position. I am following along with my blog post that is called Mastering Third Position. You can find it online violin education and I'll put a link below in the description so you can follow along with me, okay? I'm just going to briefly go over the post and you can actually read more in depth within the post, okay? So I do have the actual position learning order in the post so you can find it there. So let's get into the 11 tips for mastering third position. First off, I highly, 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 highly suggest and recommend and make sure that you know how to read your note names and that you know your note names before going to the third position. If you're reading numbers, it's gonna be really, really difficult and you're gonna find out that that first finger that plays a B in first position that now is played with a third finger on the D string in third position. So it's really confusing because now all different fingers are playing different notes and so you do need to make sure that you're reading notes and that you actually know where those notes are on the violin and you have the corresponding finger go to that note. You want to always maintain proper posture. So you hear me say it all the time, make sure to have good posture, proper posture. You need to have posture that supports you as a violinist, not one that's gonna be working against you, okay? So do make sure that your left hand is nice and relaxed, that your wrist is straight, and that you're not using the violin as a crutch or having your wrist lean on the shoulder of the violin when you're in third position. You want to know the lay of the land. I always say this in position work, and I have a wonderful position mastery program that you go through seven different positions in eight weeks, and we get really, really comfy cozy in that position before shifting in and out. So I always compare it to traveling. If you're gonna go somewhere, say, let's take a trip to Hawaii. We need to know before we go to Hawaii, what is the lay of the land? What is the weather gonna be like? What do we need to pack? Uh, what's, you know, it, to make sure, I mean, we know that it's uh, in the United States, so we don't have to be worried about currency, it's a US dollar, but say we're going to Zimbabwe or something. We wanna make sure that we know what we need to have. So that's why I say get real comfy cozy in the lay of the land, okay? So, um, some ideas to practice third position I'm gonna to give to you right now. Scales are the best way to get comfy cozy in a position. So in third position, you have a beautiful C major scale. Start with the first finger and on the G string in third. And you can play a beautiful C major scale across the instrument. Now, when you do that, you want to think your note names. So C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, okay? And then on the way back down to think your note names. So C, B, A, G, F, E, D, okay? So you know your note names when you're walking backwards on the scale. That's always the most challenging for my violinist students whenever I ask them. They're like, oh yeah, they made it up to scale saying the note names, but as soon as they have to go backwards, it's really a challenge. The next thing I would suggest are broken thirds. Now, what are broken thirds? <laughs> Sounds kind of funny because they're broken, but a third basically is an interval of a third where like in first position, we would have C on the bottom and E on the top. That's a third. C, D, E. So one, two, three. One, two, three. That's your third. Okay. So if we're going up into, uh, say, for example, what we're doing right now is playing in broken thirds, that means that we're not playing them together. So they're separate. So we have C, E, D, F, E, G, F. It's 
basically leapfrog through the scale. So you skip over one note. That's a broken third. That's a great way to get comfy, cozy in a position by learning, by practicing the scales and the broken thirds. I have written out scale and arpeggio exercises for you. Arpeggios are also very good <laughs> to do. Uh, and exercise books in different positions with different keys. So there is a, uh, an exercise book for C major scales and arpeggios in third position and D major as well, actually, I do believe. So you can find that. I'll leave a link below and you can check it out. It's at onlineviolineducation.com academy books and you'll find it there. So as we're continuing on in our tips, you always want to listen to your pitches that they're truly in tune, okay? So if you ever have what I call the fuzzy, the fuzzy head practice syndrome, it's time to take a break. You don't want to ever have a fuzzy head when you're practicing. You really want to listen to your pitches to be aware and to be mindful, okay? You want to listen that every pitch rings true, that we have this gorgeous, gorgeous ring. And in third position, you'll have pitches that will ring every position. You'll have pitches that will ring anywhere on the violin. We always have pitches that will really, really ring when they're in tune, okay? So if you ever have a question, if you're in tune or not, compare your pitches to first position. So go play in first position and head back over to third position and play in third. You really need to know your fingers to the notes. So know your note names as previously discussed and what finger plays what note. Quiz yourself. Ask yourself, how do I play F sharp and third position? What string, what finger, okay? And uh, if you need to, make some flashcards for yourself to help you along. Always know your finger relationships. Now this doesn't matter if whatever position you're in. If you're in third position, seventh position, eighth position, doesn't matter, you need to know your finger relationships. What do I mean by finger relationships? To know where your fingers touch. Where are the half steps? Where are the whole steps? Okay? And also to know how they relate across the instrument. One very notorious issue for violinists in third position is when they play an F natural on the A string and they're going to a B natural on the D string. So it's a low three on A to a, if you want to think of it as a high three on D. So you have to know exactly where, what notes are across the instrument and what are not. So you have your finger go in the proper place. You also need to know the interval distance between the fingers. So as you get higher up the instrument, the intervals are going to get smaller and smaller. So you need to be aware of that. And then the tone quality in third position, do be, be aware that as far as your tone, you do need to bring your bow just a little bit closer to the bridge when you're working in third as opposed to first position, okay? And that really pretty much covers the mastering third position uh, tips. And you can find, remember, you can find the blog post at Online Violin Education. And if you need some exercise material to walk you through mastering third position, I have written a book, Master Third Position with Finger Patterns. Da, da, da. <laughs> now this book is 100% downloadable. If you wanted to go to the website and buy this book right now, you can have it in your hands in like less than five minutes, I'm sure. You just have to buy the book and you can just, it'll take a little bit of time to print, but <laughs> you'll be able to, if you don't want to print it, you'll be able to access it immediately and work off your tablet, your iPad, your computer, your laptop, however you want to view it, you have immediate access to this book. Now, if you want to take it to the printer and print it up like I did with the binding on it, you can go, go ahead and do that. And uh, we've made it very printer friendly, condensed it down. So uh, it's uh, 92 pages of wonderful exercises and with some beautiful images actually inside as well, some motivating um, images. Let me just find one for you here. I chose to have mine printed up in black and white, but uh, here you have an image. It says, every day I nurture my desire to improve with faith that I will. Uh, so really fun, motivating stuff. We have a table of contents here at the beginning. If you, and if you're reading through this digitally, these are click, clickable links to take you to the exact exercise. The exercises are broken down into finger patterns and with every single finger pattern, you have an image to let you know where exactly it is and what fingers touch within that finger pattern, okay? And then you have your exercises to walk you through in third position. And it works, through, works you through every single string, okay? So every single string with all the different finger patterns. And there is even a place for you to create your own music. This is something I highly encourage all my violinist students to do is to create their own music. Okay, so that is your place to actually write your music in for that specific finger pattern. So it will really help you to read third position, to learn third position, and if you want more training on third position than just this exercise book and you want me to walk you through, 
You can find Master Third Position with Finger Patterns Masterclass at Online Violin Education within the Academy. Just click on Master Classes and there is a Masterclass to actually teach you Third Position online by um, with using this book. I'll guide you all the way through, okay? So uh, you can allow me to be your guide, invite me to be your guide by going to the master classes at Online Violin Education if you need some more guidance in walking you through this immediately 100% downloadable book, okay? So enjoy, have fun learning third position, and until I see you in the next video or online training, remember, have happy, magical practices. Ciao!